Cashinista friends, it's Cashiri here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I achieved these long blonde goddess locks. So if you want to see how I got this look, stay tuned and keep watching. Today I'm using two different types of Marley hair. I'm using the Senegalese Twist Braid Marley hair in the color 27. And I'm also using the Jamaican Twist Braid in the color P27 613 and this color is just the 27 color mixed with this bleach blonde color there and I'm using that same color for my curly hair at the ends with my free trust braids so this is day three of me doing my hair I have <laughs> split up this hair process into three days which is why all the perimeter is already finished and I left the center for last so that I could wear a bun because this has been a long process for me guys. I'm doing my faux locks smaller this time. This is the smallest. They're not even super small. But if you've seen any of my other faux lock videos, these are way smaller than what I usually tend to do for my faux locks because I usually just take big chunks just because to save time. But I made a conscious effort this time to take smaller pieces and make them a bit smaller. So that's why it's really taking me a really long time. And I'm making them super long too. So yeah, it's been taking forever. Anyway, I'm going to just start by taking some moisturizer and putting it on my hair. And I'm taking some jam for the roots of my hair just to kind of smooth out my roots to get it ready for the fall out. Okay. Now I think for this last one I'm gonna do the mixed color. So I'm gonna take this one. Yeah. I'm gonna take a piece of Marley hair, and this is the Marley hair that's mixed with the um the bleach bond color, which looks like this. And in order to make the faux lock smaller, like this size that I'm using. I'm taking a piece because the faux lock hair pretty much already comes like in pieces that you can easily grab. Did I say faux lock hair? Marley hair. Y'all know what I mean. But the Marley hair comes in pieces that you can grab. But I'm splitting that piece in half. Like so. And I'm taking one piece here. And I'm going to add my free trust hair to it and I'm also using just this regular bleach blonde for some pieces where I'm using the mixed color just because I already had this hair and it's easier to just get the blonde piece than from trying to get the blonde from the mixed color hair I'm just going to separate a piece and the curls get pretty fuzzy so I'm going to Add a little mousse on it to kind of smooth it out some. I'm going to add this to the Marley hair like so. And this piece of Marley hair is pretty long so I'm going to just clip the ends off because I don't want it that long. Clip some of the Marley ends off. So yeah, this is what I have. I'm adding a piece of Marley hair and the curly hair together. Now I'm going to attach it to my hair by first starting with a braid at the root just to attach it because that's just the easiest way that I know how to attach the braiding hair to my hair. So I'm just going to use my real hair as my third piece to start the braid and begin to braid. Now once I have the braid started and attached, it's really messy. I don't make it neat at all. I just flip it around and I have my real hair in the center. I break my real hair into two pieces and I just twist the rest of the way down. Just because this is way easier and much faster than actually just trying to braid the whole thing down because as you can see, it's not neat at all because it doesn't need to be. It doesn't have to be. So that's what I have. Looks a mess, I know. 
Now I'm going to take the other half of the Marley hair that I broke apart and start to wrap it around. So I'm just going to put it here and I have an extra piece here that I'm going to hold in place with the twist and begin to wrap it around the base of the braid. And after I've wrapped it around at least like three or four times, I then start to wrap down. So I'm holding this twist still and only wrapping or moving with this hand with the Marley hair. And I'm pulling it really pretty tight when I'm wrapping or wrapping it tight rather. strands around as much as I can wrap around and this is not wrapped down far enough for me so I take another piece of Marley hair and break it in half again and I continue to wrap down the rest of the faux lock so I'm going to do the same thing like I did at the base have a little SS piece of hair that I'm just going to hold in place and then wrap. to where I want to end my faux lock, I take the free tress hair and separate it from the Marley hair because of course we want to leave the curly hair out. So I'm, I'm separating it and I'm adding all of the Marley hair together with the hair that I was wrapping with. And now I'm just going to start to wrap it all together. It's kind of hard because it's not going to want to stay in place like this one. And this one is, has like a lot of extra hair, so I'm going to kind of just try to pull it off because I don't want to wrap up the whole. Like typically all the other ones didn't have this much extra hair on it so I didn't have to do that. So now this is the lock that I have. And it still ended up being more hair on the ends than I would have liked but whatever. So now what I'm going to do is burn the ends of the hair and roll it as soon as I burn it to mend it all together. And I'll burn it a few times just so there's the lock. Hmm. 
now that I'm finally done with my whole head I'm going to go ahead and get some mousse and fix the ends because while I'm doing the faux locks the curly ends tend to get a little straggly with me braiding and all the movement and things so I'm going to be right back after I put some mousse on it and trim my ends I finished trimming all of my ends and putting some mousse on it to smooth these things back on out and that's it I'll probably add a few accessories some clips and things but I definitely don't have time to do it right now but that's it I hope you all enjoyed the video thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all next time